You are watching a master at work. Today, we have three different ways for you to learn how to get the ball from the ground. I'm Andrew from Bush Football. Remember, your dreams don't work if you don't. Have a great day, guys. Today, Bye. I'm super, super excited for the video that we have for you guys because it's about one of my favorite things, futsal. We have three different drills and skills that you should be doing with a futsal to make you a significantly better soccer player. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at Remember, try to beat your score every single time I'm Andrew from Boost Football and I'll see you later Five turning techniques for soccer players Yes, yeah, Steve! Cool. I'm Andrew from Boost Football. Remember, your dreams don't work if you don't. See you later. The McGatey Spin, a highly effective yet simple move to pull off to absolutely destroy defenders. Generally, this move is almost exclusively done as you're heading towards the sideline or the corner of a field. You're gonna start off by doing a Cruyff turn. I'm making room for my foot to come here using inside of the foot, a pivot and go the other way. If you leave with your left foot, your body is gonna go clockwise. If you leave with your right foot, your body is gonna go counterclockwise. When you flick this ball, you wanna use the widest part of your foot, which is right here in the middle. We're not using our toe. We're not using our heel. Hint one, you need to sell it. Coming around and I'm selling it with my arms and everything, okay? Hint number two, you want a quick flick with your standing foot that you plant with shortly after the Cruyff. Hint number three, make sure you're spinning. Spin quickly, it's called the McGatty spin, not the McGatty chop or the McGatty cut. Hey, if you ever pull this off in a game, or in a practice, let me know in the comment section below because I would love to know that this tutorial helped you out. So, what is the Travella? Basically, it's a striking technique when you're striking the ball, whether that be for crossing, passing, shooting, where you use the outside of your foot to generate a ton of whip and curl, as you can see. The nickname for this technique comes from the Portuguese language and refers to the area of the three small toes towards the outside of your foot that you use while striking the ball. When striking the ball, lead with the last three toes area of your foot. As you hit the ball, your foot should come across the ball so that the ball is making contact with the outside of your foot. Make sure that while you're striking the ball, your ankle is nice and locked, okay? I wanna lean in the direction that I'm striking the ball, okay? So it's a little bit of an angle, I follow through and I'm leaning a little bit in the direction where that ball is curling. I wanna make sure that I'm coming across my body, which will help me create that curl 
that I'm looking for.